Welcome to another Dark Nook video. I've taken a couple of gaudy foam party pumpkins and I'm going to make them into awesome evil looking jack-o'-lanterns. The first step is basing them out in black. I made a couple of these, but I'm only going to focus on the process for one of them. Otherwise this video would be way too long. But you'll see both of them finished in the end. So I use a flat black spray paint and make sure to cover them completely. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any new content. Once they're all based out in black and you've given them a chance to dry, grab a marker and draw the face on the pumpkin that you want. Once you have a face you like, grab a utility knife and cut along the lines you've drawn. Just make sure to slice through to the foam that's underneath the skin. Once that's done, peel back the outer layer to reveal the foam underneath. And take a small pick or a screwdriver and chip out little bits of the foam. It doesn't take much, just enough to get a little depth defined. And be careful not to pry out the foam that's directly under the teeth. You want to leave that foam there for later. Once that's all done, we can start the corpsing process. And this is how we create the weird viney skin effects and expressions. Take some plastic sheeting. And you'll find this stuff in the paint section of most hardware stores or Walmart, even the dollar stores have this stuff. They're rolls of cheap plastic sheeting and they're made to cover stuff up when you're painting in a room. It's like a drop cloth, but it's cheap plastic instead of cloth. Cut it into strips that are a little wider than the pumpkin and cut a few extra pieces for adding details. Take those bits of plastic and spray them with a little bit of spray adhesive and stick them where you want them on the pumpkin. Put them around the eyes for eyebrows or put them around the corners of the mouth to make a wicked looking smile. And once those little bits are added, then wrap the whole thing in plastic. Then grab the heat gun. Now anytime you're using a heat gun, you want to be careful. Work in a well ventilated area because these aren't fumes you want to be breathing in. Also, be careful not to start a fire. Pay attention to what you're doing and keep the heat gun moving. Now use the heat gun to melt the plastic and melt the foam in the mouth and the eyes and the nose just a little bit. You'll notice it start to melt back off with the heat gun, but you want it, you want it to melt just a little bit, just enough to pull back and give you a nice looking effect. Repeat this process until you're happy with the way it looks. Sometimes it'll come out perfect the first time. Sometimes you may need to repeat the process two or three times before it looks the way you really want it to look. And then it's on to paint. Now I start with a base coat of pumpkin orange. Let that dry well. And then I add a second coat. Let that one dry. And maybe a third coat if it's necessary. When that's completely dry, take a dark brown paint and glob it all over the surface. Be careful not to get it on any of the white foam in the mouth or in the eyes. If you do get a little in there, wipe it off before it dries. You don't want any dark paint in that part of the uh, pumpkin. Once you've got brown paint globbed down in a particular area on the surface of this pumpkin, take a wet paper towel and wipe off all the paint from the high points, leaving it only in the low areas. Let this dry. And as you'll see, it gives a great look of depth and dirt and grime. Once that's completely dry, 
use a dry brush technique. If you don't know what that is, check one of my other videos. I've gone over it before. Use a dry brush technique with a greenish yellow and a greenish brown to hit the high points and make all those little wrinkles pop, make them look like vines or malformations on the surface of the pumpkin. You'll notice it really brings out all the detail. And when that's done, then you can start on the mouth and the eyes. If there's any bits of paint that manage to get in the mouth or the eyes, the first thing you want to do is paint over those with white and let that dry. But if you've managed to keep them clean, just move on to the next step. Move right into globbing glow-in-the-dark paint into the openings, into the mouth, into the eyes, into the nose. Now I use a glow-in-the-dark paint that dries clear, almost clear. It's translucent has a little bit of a green hue to it, but it's almost almost completely clear. So my first layer is just that glow-in-the-dark paint. And when that's dry, I add a yellow glow-in-the-dark paint. Once that's dry, then I add an orange neon paint that's black light reactive. So if you put this uh, anywhere near a black light, it's gonna glow bright. Once that's dry, I go over it again with the glow-in-the-dark paint that dries clear. And here's what they look like when they're all finished. And now, when the lights go out, they glow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Do all the YouTube-y things that YouTubers do. And 
Thanks for checking out my channel.